Hey guys, today we're going to be making a soap dish. Now, I figured that these days we are using a lot of soap. We've got our ball of clay, smacked a little bit to wake it up. And because we need some little feet, we're going to take a little clump of this clay and we're going to set this aside, smooth down those bumps. We're going to set it aside to make feet out of later. These jagged ridges, we're just going to smooth down like that. Might actually be able to get two soap dishes out of this. I'm going to start smoothing this down, but I want, um, one thing you'll need is you might want a little bowl to start uh, molding the sides of the soap bowl out of. Um, Keep in mind that clay shrinks 15%. So this, this project, we need um, to make sure that our soap is gonna fit inside this little bowl or this little dish. So have a look at your soap, see how big it is, and then kind of overestimate by 15% how big you're gonna need to make your dish. So I'm going to leave my slab a little thicker than what I normally do for most of the web bowls. I, I don't know why, but I like a little bit of a thicker, um, sturdier feeling for the soap dish. I know this is giant. This isn't going to be my soap dish. I'm going to cut out the shape that I want. I want a little bit more of like an oval, a, a little bit more of an organic shape for myself. I like to put a little bit of a wavy rim around my soap dish. So I'm just going to cut freestyle cut uh, shape it's a bit Easter eggish <laughs> that's a technical term Easter eggish now that's not perfect but I'm gonna go with my finger and smooth down all of these sides Pinching that in so it's not a sharp edge. Yeah, that's better. Now, I like to hand mold this soap dish. I like to pinch the edges up around to make a nice, almost like half an inch or an inch lip going up around and it doesn't have to be perfect there and you can kind of readjust the height you can pinch it so that it shapes a little differently pinch it up higher or pinch it down lower And that's enough to hold the soap in. It's not going to slip out. Uh, this is the base. This is the main part of the soap dish. We're going to let this firm up a little bit. I forgot to put the stamps in there. <laughs> what can I use for stamps? Um, I'll use this. We're going to do some flowers around because I'm thinking of spring. This is a cheap little plastic ring that my daughter brought home from school. And just on the inside for me, I'm going to do three or four of these off to the side, kind of like asymmetrical things and there. And that cornstarch will burn off. Uh, and then we're going to put drainage holes right here. If you like drainage holes, I like drainage holes, I find it helps the soap to breathe and I don't find it drips down onto the counter too much, but it just keeps 
the sort of like slimy, scuzzy layer helps it to dry out and keeps the soap a little bit drier. So we're gonna let that set up for about an hour until it's not like <laughs> wobbly like that. Just set it aside in a quiet little spot. So another version of the soap dish that we're gonna make, or I'm gonna show you, is gonna be a kitty cat soap dish. So I have a bit of an outline here of a fat, cute kitty cat that I've drawn. So I'm gonna cut this sort of shape with the ears and then little bumps for the feet down at the bottom. And I have a bowl that I'm gonna press this into to give it just a little bit of a lift. And I'm gonna put this drawing here and I'm gonna trace it. I'm gonna make this one a little bit bigger just cause it's a bit more fun and ridiculous. You wanna notice it on your counter. So the two ears. Nice big fat bum. Two little, oop, my toothpick's breaking. This is a really thick slab of clay, so it'll be a bit harder to push the toothpick through. There. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> beautiful, right? But <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and just smooth out all those edges again. Pinch it around the sides so that it's not sharp. Without any little scuffs or anything. All right. Now for this one, um, I think I want it even a little bigger. I'm going to try and stretch it with the rolling pin. There. Not bad. That'll do. Give me another centimeter or so. Still kind of looks like what. It was when I cut it out. I'm going to use this for my mold. So I think it's big enough that it'll just curl the edges up a little bit. I'm going to put my little kitty cat on here. And now's a good time to draw the kitty cat's face and cut out these little marks because these are going to be my little drainage holes. So I've got just two little eyes, tiny little beady eyes. This is more of like a minimalist sort of cartoony design. A little nose, kind of triangle-y. I'm just going to rock this back and forth until it looks like a triangle. And a little kitty mouth, just drawing little lines. Little whiskers. That's what he's looking like so far. <laughs> I'm going to draw his feet a little bit more going up so that they look like little paws. There. Little feet, little paws. Now this is the tricky part because this slab is so thick, I'm gonna try and cut out 
three long sort of slats or sections just little like moon shapes and just to keep peeled up there one's out there's one so we'll cut all the way through Space it out a generous amount. I'm using the little toothpick to poke that middle, poke that middle piece and peel it out with the toothpick. Peeled the last one out. So now, these are my three little grooves that I've cut out. So that's going to be my drainage holes for the soap. And I'm going to smooth these down because you can see there's like really rough lines. So I'm going to smooth that down with my finger and then go in with the sponge and smooth it down some more. that up a little bit. I think I want to get in there with the toothpick a bit and um, there's a bit of a jagged edge right there. Smooth that up too. There. That looks a little bit better. So there's our kitty cat. Now I'm going to put, there's a fatter side right here. I'm going to put a little tail under him right there and curl it up over him like that before I put him into the bowl. There's my clay. There's a bit of clay right here. I pinch off a bit, smoosh it in so I'm not getting any air bubbles. I'm gonna roll this like a little snake. Roll it out a bit. He's going to have a skinny tail. So this is going to be under him. I'm going to flatten that a little bit and that's where I'm going to etch my little Velcro marks. And then stick it under one little drop of water. So I'm going to lift this up. Just Right under him where I want his tail sticking out, I'm going to smoosh that in. Smoosh, smoosh, smoosh with my fingers. So it's stuck under and I've smooshed it down. I'm going to take it and curl it up onto him. Give him a little twirly curly tail. shape right there and then press that down so it's not going to stick up there fun little detail now I'm going to see if this is the right shape <laughs> to get a little curve I'm just laying them in there like that and I'm going to push them down this is pretty good Now the only thing I can think of is once I let this guy sit up and he's dried for about an hour or two, I might want to go in around this edge and push it up just a little bit more to keep the soap from slipping out. These two sides aren't very high. 